I am like, I need to sit down. So many dresses. They made a little bit of a pit stop. So stressed. You guys made it to New York. Let me know though how I always somehow end up on the floor of an airport for extended amounts of time. Almost expected at this point. Basically, I thought I was gonna be able to check in here early yesterday and I got here at like 10 or 11. I couldn't check in until 4, so I just had to chill at the airport because I have so much luggage that like there's no, there was the, <laughs> there's nothing for me to do with my bags. And since it's not a hotel, you can't just like leave it with the concierge. I'm gonna be here for like 16 days, so I always say I'm gonna unpack whenever I travel, but it never really happens, but I kinda need to for the sake of my like sanity because I can't live out of these bags for that long. I'm really excited for this vlog specifically because personally, I like to see like behind the scenes kind of things. And obviously I loved my last fashion week vlog, but last year I didn't really have like Rep to do in the city. I'm very excited because today we have a fitting with Bronx and Manko. I also need to like go get like some like random shit. Like I need silver shoes. So hopefully we can manage something. I'll give you a little tour of the place. So I slept next to that last night, but that's like no different from me being home. The windows are actually really nice. I love like, actually I don't know what the fuck kind of windows those are, but I really like them. We have a dresser a closet and then this hallway with the kitchen i probably will not use um in the bathroom look what i need my saving grace gotta stay hydrated <laughs> if next week is gonna be anything like last fashion week okay getting ready for my fitting i'm doing like a full fade because you've ever been like prom dress shopping or like any kind of dress shopping without your makeup done and maybe this is just me but whenever i went prom dress shopping for the first time i didn't have makeup on and i hated every single thing that I tried on because you don't have like the full effect. I vividly remember going back the next time with my makeup done, tried on some of the same dresses and like loved them. They're not making that mistake. Anyway, so my tip of the day is if you ever go dress shopping, make sure your hair and makeup is done. I'm just gonna lay my hair down today. I'm gonna probably wear something comfy because I kind of want to walk around and go shopping. <laughs> drenched in sweat um i don't know why i insist on speed walking everywhere i go so i made a little bit of a pit stop uh, but this pit stop this pit stop it involves something that i needed need a few things need like accessories for this one dress i need silver shoes and then i needed black shoes for this other dress but these are like i can wear these so much and someone posted them on tiktok and i went um like kind of viral like viral on like fashion tiktok i'm not even kidding probably 100 people tagged me in the video so i already knew that i loved them but wow i'm like out of breath actually grand review i can't believe that i like these so much because of like the clear right here because i usually think that that looks like kind of cheap and just like gross like i don't like whenever you can like see i don't know it's like i used to have clear converse as a kid and they would get like foggy because my feet would sweat but these have these holes in the side to ventilate your foot how smart is that and then whenever you put it on i don't know why but the, you can't even tell that the clear is there like it looks invisible it looks like it's just the toe and this strap and the dress i'm gonna wear them with is like literally looks like it was made for these or these look like it was made for the dress the fitting went so well but yeah my dress is really cute i'm not gonna take it out of the dust bag but this is the one i picked and i absolutely love the train i think that's what the ruffles like on the side of the train is what made me really fall in love with it and i'm just gonna chill my mom packed me homemade banana bread and a little snack bag because if you watched my last fashion week vlog you know that i arrived and had absolutely no food but i think i should probably still go to like trader joe's or something it was in my home hi i'm honored to be here we officially decided yesterday that we were definitely going to milan as well as paris i guess that's even just even more content <laughs> prepare um, to be sick of us we're just gonna go take some pictures because believe it or not we're bored um Come Wednesday, though. We're not going to be bored. We're not going to be bored for a long time. <laughs> we really don't even need to be getting content right now. Like, not at because all. Because neither of us are probably even going to post it. No. Like, we literally don't even have a single reason. But, you know, it is what it is. Behind the scenes. At our ledge. We did. A nice ledge. And then we just, you know, do our thing. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, I actually think that's cute. Let me see. Okay, one more. It's like 9 p.m. and I'm gonna do these whitening strips. I haven't used whitening strips in so long. I feel like I never take off whitening strips and I'm like, damn, my teeth are white. I need a mirror, sorry. Oh, I don't think I, yeah, this wasn't in my last video, but while I was home, I went and got Invisalign. I don't have it yet because they just like did the, uh, like the scan. They don't do impressions anymore. They like scan your teeth and it was actually kind of sick. But because this... And my teeth are just like crowding. And I told her that I want whenever I smile to be able to like see more teeth. I think my sh like whenever I smile, you can only see like these teeth, and I just want it to be like more teeth. Also, my overbite, I mean my overjet is kind of coming back, which just means my front teeth like angle outwards. Which like whenever I was a kid, like I couldn't close my mouth without being like this. Like my front two teeth would rest on my bottom lip. It was awful. Anyway, so I lost my retainer like three years ago. Um, if you followed me on TikTok for a long time, you know I had a literal breakdown on TikTok and was bawling crying. Fully posted a video of me crying over my retainer. That was a very sad day. And then I never went and got a new one because I didn't have like my old impressions. And I was like, well, I don't want a new retainer with my janked up teeth. Like, come on now. I don't think I have anything tomorrow. I think I might go shopping because I still need um, shoes. And I literally bought shoes the other day, but I need silver shoes guys okay so revolve's having an event and they sent me oh they sent me something to wear and surprisingly i did pick this out um <laughs> if you watched my last vlog this might not come as a surprise but it is hot pink the funniest thing about this is they sent me like the line sheet like to pick something from and they had so much new black stuff that like i normally would wear and then i saw this and i was like that's adorable but it's so not me and so they told me to pick four things and then they would send one of them and if i'm being completely honest i picked this almost as a joke like i was like there's no way that they're gonna actually send me this pink thing because like they know like i don't know i didn't think that they were going to send it and i'm honestly kind of glad that they did because now i get to like wear something different because i have to wear this and i literally said in my last video i specifically said that i wanted to wear pink this week it's like adorable i love this so it's actually pouring rain outside i literally just went downstairs and i had no idea that it was raining so i'm gonna call an uber and we're gonna go to the showroom it's actually the same company that i went to for my coachella the green outfit and they have retrofit there which y'all know is like my favorite brand of all time so i'm very excited just left and we got some really really cute things okay just doing some quick touch-ups because kate oh my god it's so rainy outside let me rebraid this kate invited me to another like pre-fashion week thing i don't really know what it is the invitation said <laughs> we're gonna customize air force one i'm really excited for that i also stopped by steve madden while i was out of course they did not have anything i wanted in my size so i overnighted a few pairs from revolve and i'm praying that they get here in time because i don't know what else i'm gonna do so this kind of looks jank but whatever guys i'm wearing my a literal baby um i'm wearing my leather pants for the first time since like last season and i'm feeling very like myself because i wore these pants literally every other day last like fall and winter let's be real, up until like May. And I wish I could like give y'all the info on them, but they're like two years old from Zara. But if you are looking for, okay, this is not plugged in. If you are looking for leather pants, like in general, Zara like usually has pretty good options. My biggest thing with like buying fake leather is that it stretches. So it never lasts. These have held up so well. And I have a few other pairs of leather pants from Zara and they have also held up. So, just letting you know. Guys, I'm literally about to leave, but Rebecca just texted me, which is my manager, confirming my first show in Milan. I am like, I need to sit down. Guys, I literally was like fully prepared to go to Milan and be invited to nothing and just like fuck around. It's all because of y'all. I'm not gonna cry. I love you guys so much and I'm so excited. Hey. 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 Very tedious work here. I really. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Just got back. It's literally 
so cold in here. My shoes are looking real cute. Whenever they said customize, I thought they meant like in seventh grade when I would customize like my Nike runs or whatever they were called. But I did like this little inverted thing on the inside. And on this one, I put my name. Look how cute it is. And on this one, I just did like a little um, shadow moment. Also, it was kind of just like therapeutic. Like I used to do shit like this all the time. And they also gave us little goodie bags. Mine's green, which is literally so cute. Can you tell like this is like lime green? They're stony clover bags and I love stony clover. Like my makeup bags are stony clover and I love them. We got gummy bears. Oh my, I've been wanting to try one of these for so long. These skincare wands, I feel like they, no offense, probably do nothing. I don't know. Like I feel like some dermatologist on TikTok is like talking about all you people buying these things are blah, blah, blah. But whatever. I'm gonna use it. Probiotic powder. Charcoal mask. Oh, this is a cute, like, Sunny's case. Oh. It's giving Kim Kardashian. Damn, there is a lot of stuff in here. Facial brush, like, to exfoliate your face. Is this white? Nice. I literally only use white nail polish for anything, because I always have French nails, and then I have... I always do white toes. Like since I was in like seventh grade, I've never gotten anything other than white. Tomorrow is officially the first day of Fashion Week. I am gonna take you guys to my fitting tomorrow for Love Shack Fancy, which I'm so excited for. Anyways, I wanna try this like, uh, this thing. Not already charged, I'm gonna be pissed. Charge your solar wave wand fully for two hours before your first use. Okay, so never fucking mind. I'm gonna use my Isle of Paradise CeraVe. I've never used the dark ones before, so hopefully I don't wake up looking insane. First thing I have tomorrow, well actually, I guess the first thing I have tomorrow and the fitting can go in this vlog. The first thing is just um, a rebag event, which was my very first influencer event ever. But it's just like a little um, get together and they're gonna loan us bags again, like they did last year to wear for the week. I wear this flared skirt, white corset top with like a bow. Oh, I could also wear a bow. Oh my god. I could wear one of these bows. It's gonna be so cute. I just got back from my rebag event and Love Shack Fancy. Look at this bag. Rebag is loaning it to me. For the week. Glad they gave me this one because I've been wanting to buy the all black saddle bag as like my everyday bag. This is just like everything. This is my Love Shock fancy dress I picked. Just look. The bows on the sleeves and it's embellished with pearls. Oh, and let me show you what I got from Retrofit yesterday because I don't think I showed you. It's literally so heavy. This little mini skirt, chain detailing, matching blazer. Very cute. It's also Retrofit, but it is stunning as crystals all over it oh my god it's super long and it has like high slit i'm so excited now i need to go to nordstrom and sax and uh, maybe steve madden because i need shoes how many fucking times have i said that i need silver shoes i still need shoes I need silver shoes and i need shoes for literally everything i need shoes for that pink dress and shoes for now this pearl dress that I'm wearing. And today's like the only day that I'm gonna have time to run errands, so. I'm so stressed. I'm also like not, like sprinting around the city trying to find like the perfect shoes and i decided to come to like the upper east side it's just like so pretty up here like i just love my life right now i don't think you guys understand how disgusting i feel right now yeah but at the very least i did get everything i needed or almost everything basically i went to Saks to look for a dress because i needed a dress for something that was like super last minute the first event tonight is at seven I'm not going until like eight, I don't think. But right now it's literally six o'clock. And I started walking home because I didn't want to call an Uber like right on Fifth Avenue because I feel like it would have taken forever. And I called my mom and I just ended up talking to her and talking and talking and talking. And I didn't even realize that I walked for like a fucking hour. And I had to 
go to the store to get my wristbands for a party tonight. I changed my Uber destination to the store. It's like a 20 minute walk away from my house. Well, first of all, I go in the store and they're like, sorry, we're at capacity. Like, how does this wristband situation, like, don't, like trying to figure that out right now. It's like 6.15 now, walked home. I'm gonna show you all of this like later because I need to start my other vlog for like the thing I'm going to tonight. We don't know what to do. So annoying! I was about to go up to him and ask him for a photo, but I kept my composure and I didn't do it. Uh -huh.